Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you've been watching the community tab, you know that I've been working on something special over the past few weeks and today I'm going to show you the finished product. Now my collection, just like many of yours, was stored in giant boxes, sorted by set with a bunch of additional product on the side. Then for Christmas, my wife had a custom neon sign made for me with the name of the channel, which was awesome and a total surprise. Now I knew I had to do something special with it, I couldn't just throw it up on the wall, so I decided to create a storage system for my cards as a way to show off the sign and some of my collection. So, as most things in life, I started out with a plan, and I started to build a design that initially looked something like this. Basically, it was going to be a base unit with 35 drawers to store cards with a nice top to present some of the cards, a, the neon sign smack dab in the middle, and then a few shelves above that to hold sealed and open product. I went with 35 drawers because I had 35 of the four row white boxes, which for magic holds about 4,000 cards each. So I needed something that held around 140,000 cards. I'm not a woodworking noob, but by no means am I a carpenter. I've done a few projects around the house, including building a storage system for my mudroom. It all started a few years ago, you know, when no one was going outside, by redoing one of the bays in my garage to build a workshop so I could build other things. Being my first major project, I was happy with the results. Yeah, the doors on the cabinets aren't exactly 100% square, but that's okay. So when it came to the magic storage project, I had to consider a few things. I needed a strong base because 140,000 magic cards weighs about 560 pounds. So I went with two by fours. I also went with an eight foot length because that's the standard length of two by fours and plywood in the United States. Then when I knew what the interior dimensions were, I needed to make the slots that held the drawers just wide enough to store rows of cards and make sure I didn't waste any space. This is why I decided that in order to get five sets of drawers, I needed to make the four outer drawers the same width and the middle drawers a little bit wider. Then I started to add face frame, which is simply strips of plywood to hide the two by four base structure. I then measured and cut shelves that would go above the unit and finally painted all of the parts for the exterior. Then it was on to the drawers. Now, if you haven't thought about it, a drawer consists of six pieces, a left, a right, a front, a back, a bottom, and then a second front. So what you're seeing in the upper left hand corner is 210 pieces of wood cut to construct the 35 drawers. I did some test fitting as you can see in the lower left hand picture to make sure that I could store hard cases if I needed to. After installing the drawer slides, I moved the unit up to my office, then installed the shelves and some hue lights. I installed all the drawers, then moved on to the drawer fronts, which is one of the hardest parts because this is where the vertical and horizontal alignment counts because you don't want a different gap between the pieces and you want all the drawer knobs to line up. And here it is, the finished product. So I've got the neon sign mounted directly in the center, three shelves of uh, opened and sealed product above that. I've got hue lights that cascade on every single shelf, plus one that actually shines down on the drawers when I open them up. And speaking of the drawers, let's take a look inside. So the left two and right two drawers each have five bays of cards and that center drawer holds seven. Uh, and here's a look at some of the sealed product that I've got for the channel, plus some of my oversized cards, my alpha box, uh, and some additional uh, packs and uh, other cards and books and whatnot. And there you have it, that's the finished product. What do you all think? Please let me know in the comments below. It took about a month to build. I'm super happy with it. It's not perfect, but you know what? That's okay. Until next time, do something amazing.